Now let's look at one more question on the concept of velocity and acceleration before I move on to the next topic of the velocity potential function. So the question says we have a velocity vector again which is x square y i cap plus y square z j cap minus all this k cap. We have to prove that this is a case of steady incompressible flow and we have to find the velocity and acceleration at 2, 1, 3 point. Okay. Again a very simple question, instead we you need to remember the condition for a flow to be steady and incompressible. That is, you need to prove that curly u plus uh, by curly x plus curly v by curly y plus curly w by curly z is equal to 0. Okay, so before that let us identify u v in w. So u is equal to x square y, v is equal to y square z and w is equal to minus 2xyz plus or this would be again minus minus yz square. So let us find out curly u by curly x. So curly u upon curly x would be how much? 2xy. So this would be 2xy. Curly v by curly y, it will be 2yz. So you have curly v upon curly y as 2y into z. Then uh, curly w by curly z, curly w by curly z would be how much? Minus 2xy, minus 2yz. Okay, so now add all these three and you need to get 0 and then you will be able to prove or say that this flow is a steady incompressible flow. So when you add you get 2xy plus 2yz minus 2xy minus 2yz all this cancels off and you get a 0. This means this equation is satisfied. So we can say that this velocity function is uh, you know describing a flow which is steady and incompressible. Okay. After this let us move on to find out the velocity and acceleration. Right. So velocity is this so I need to find out the value of u, v and w at this point. So when you have to find out u you will get 2 square into 1 it will be 4 units. Okay then v would be 1 square into 3, it will be 3 units and w will be minus 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3 is 12. So minus 12 minus 9, so it will be minus 21 units. So with this I can rewrite this value of uh, velocity uh, vector which is v vector will be equal to 4 i cap plus 3 j cap minus 21 k cap. So the velocity magnitude would be a square root of all this 4 square plus 3 square plus 21 square. So the value would come out to be 21.587 units. Okay, so we are done with velocity also. Now we can find out the value of acceleration also in the same manner. So we will have to find out Ax which is equal to u into curly u by curly x plus v into curly u by curly y plus w into curly u upon curly z plus curly u by curly t. You can see that there is no independence of time for all these three components of velocity. So all these three values will become 0 for ax, then ay and then az. You will find out these individual values. So ax should come out to be 28, ay should come out to be minus 3 and az should come out to be 128. So when you calculate the value of the 
acceleration magnitude that is mod a vector this would come out to be 126.18 units so this is one more question on the concept of velocity and acceleration of a fluid particle so i hope you got it now let's move on to the next topic and talk about the concept of velocity potential function